So, uh, are you still fine for this evening? How many more times? I'll be around at half six, I promise. Good. Actually, could you make it near as six? The thing is, I'm not sure what to wear and, well, it never hurts to get a second opinion. You're taking a woman out for dinner, Ashley, not sitting in an exam. Chill out. So, come on. I'm going to see you later on, or what? I don't know. Look, I've got to go, OK? Well, I'll give you a bell in a bit, yeah? Yeah, whatever. Oh, looks like he got off lightly. Why don't you just come out with it? You think I should dump him? Yes, well, after what he's done, I failed to see the attraction. <gasps> Mum, he's sorry. Oh, I bet he is. We all make mistakes, you know. Mistakes? Elaine, you could have died. Yeah, but I didn't. <sighs> I'm warning you. You let him get away with this and he'll think he can get away with anything. He lied to you. Why don't you just leave it, OK? I'm only saying... Mum, I don't want to hear it. Rob's my boyfriend, so get used to it. <sighs> Let's call it a day, shall we? Right, yeah. Um, I'll just go and wash my hands and then I'll be off. Nice chap. He's still angry with me. Gloria, for the last time, I didn't want you to go. I need you here. You lied to me. And you lied to me? I didn't lie to you. Yes, you did. You told me he was a woman. No, not this again. I never said he was a woman. And you implied that he was a woman. Same thing. Now, why would you say that? Yes, well, as far as I'm concerned, he might as well be a woman. <laughs> Don't follow. I thought it was obvious. Hillary's gay. Gay? <laughs> Please, let's not make an issue of it. This is the 21st century, after all. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> and we are talking politics. <laughs> that was cheap, Eric, even for you. OK, um, I'll see you tomorrow. Um, look, um, why don't you pop by for supper? Um, must be pretty grim staying at the B&B, &B, and, and I do an excellent birth burger in your even if I say so myself. <laughs> that would be lovely, if it's not too much trouble. No, 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 no trouble at all. Uh, see you at, uh, see you at eight, eh? I look forward to it. Good. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Gay, eh? <laughs> And with that. That's all right, I've nearly finished. So, how's it going? Fine. Mm. Hey, Darren's back. Katie told me. Mm. So, you know that she just dumped him on me again? Beggar's belief, son. She was supposed to pick him up last night. We waited in all evening. She shouldn't have to be putting up with this. Well, what am I supposed to do? Well, you're going to have to talk to her, make her see sense. And say what? She'll never know. Listen to me, is she? Well, you're going to have to make her. And you can't just leave it. At this rate, it won't be long before social services get involved. Well, then they'll make a listen, won't they? Look, son, I know it's not easy. Try not to take it out on down, eh? Only me. What do you think? Honestly, not much. So it's not right? Well, not unless you're going to a funeral, no. Oh, perhaps I should just call the whole thing off. Come on. I'll sort it. Have you ever been scared of animals? Of course not. I've grown up with a manor. Why do sheep go bar? Because <laughs> they do. I don't know. You know, I've asked some daft questions. There must be a reason. Well, if there is, I don't know what it is. Would a sheep ever hurt you? <sighs> of course not. Mind you, I wanted to get a black eye from shearing a sheep. Did you? Yeah. <clears throat> Go on. Take your food through there. Go and watch telly. Ba! Ba! OK, be honest. What do you think? Mm. Very nice. I mean, you sure it's not too um, sexy because you know, he's a vicar after all? He's also a man. Absolutely. I think I'm going to go and change, right? What? Oh, that girl is perfectly proportioned. You took the words right out of my mouth. 
Men can be very disappointing. Oh, come on, that dress was gorgeous. I don't think it's the dress they were admiring. What do you reckon? Oh, look at Ashley. <laughs> you look nice. Thank you. I, I wasn't sure about the T-shirt. No, neither am I. You're going somewhere special? Restaurant in Hotton. Oh, on your own? No, actually, I'm going with... Hiya. You look smart. And you look absolutely stunning. Thank you. Um, what time's the taxi book for? Seven. Good. Time for a drink, then. Deary me, will he never learn? I'll get it. <clears throat> come in, come in. Within a minute! We have to talk. Indeed, but not here. Well, then where? I've been trying to get you on your own all day. It's agony. Why have you been up here so long? Hilary, you always knew I was married. In name, yes. I never promised you anything. So our night together meant nothing? Well, of course it did, but... Well, it was just one brief moment in time. Not that brief, Mrs Pollard. You must go back to London. What, without you? For the time being, yes. No. Ah, food's almost ready. Let's have an aperitif, shall we? Get the evening off on the right note. Gloria. A gin for me, please. Of course. And Hilary, what can I get for you? Dry martini. Uh, of course. <clears throat> um, olive uh, or a twist of lemon? I have both. Neither. I like it straight. <laughs> Very good. Straight. <laughs> I like a man with a sense of humour. <laughs> Something tells me you and I are going to get on. <clears throat> I'm really looking forward to tonight. Taking the time. He must be a glutton for punishment, that's all I can say. Just because she's a barmaid doesn't mean she's like Bernice. No, but she's hardly suitable material. What do you mean? Well, she's not a churchgoer, is she? Heaven only knows what he sees in her, apart from the obvious. A taxi should be here by now. Well, why don't you just get Bob to give him a ring? Good idea. So, how's it going? The date, I mean. <laughs> it is not a date. And anyway, the taxi hasn't turned up. Oh, dear. <laughs> Hot and cars, you say? It should have been here ten minutes ago. Two ticks. Taxi not turned up. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Vicar? I'm going out with a friend, Edward, that's all. I am allowed you. Not that it's any of your business, may I add? What's happening? Bob's giving him a ring. Send their apologies. They told me to tell you they'll be here in about half an hour. Half an hour, but I booked it for seven. The taxi's broken down, alternate or something like that. The Lord works in mysterious ways. Um, you couldn't give us a lift, could you, Bob? Who's going to serve the drinks in there on my own tonight? Well, it won't take long. Marlon could help you out. Don't be soft. Look, I don't mind giving you a lift. No, we couldn't possibly no, expect no, you to... No, no, thanks. That's great. I'll get my coat. This is terribly sweet of you. My pleasure. Only we'll have to take your car, cos mine's only a two-seater. Of course. Are you sure you don't mind? No, of course not. Right. We off? Yes. Oh, right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> Lucky I was here, really. Indeed. <laughs> Perhaps I should take this up for a living. Sorry? Being a cab driver. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> Perhaps not. Well, it certainly smells good. Oh. You wait till you've tasted it. The secret is plenty of wine. There you go, Hilary. So, Hilary, um, are you in a relationship at the moment? Hilary's single, Eric. Oh, really? Is that her happily single or...? <laughs> Just single, Eric. So, um, you're on the, uh, on the scene, so to speak? I don't follow. The London scene. <laughs> I hear there are lots of uh, very good clubs down there. I rarely go to clubs. Really? Well, 
How on earth do you... Hiller is a very private person, Eric. Anyway, enough grilling. Bon appétit. Yes. Bon appétit. Bon appétit. Maybe you should give him a ring and let him know where you are. And get more earache. Don't only worry if you don't. Good. Look, I don't want your mother blaming me. You know what she's like. Exactly. She's really doing my head in at the moment. I get it at home and at work. There's no let up. So ignore her. Yeah, right. Look, don't say I suggested this, but if things are really that bad at home, you can always stay with us if you want. Could I? For a bit, yeah, but you've got to suggest it was your idea. I don't want her coming down on me like a ton of bricks. What'll be in the way? I mean, you are pregnant. What's that got to do with anything? I can't believe I'm going to be an auntie. So come on, make your mind up, are you staying or not? Because if you are, I'm going to have to make a bed up. Are you sure it's all right? I wouldn't have suggested it if it wasn't. You are the best, you know that. Our Paul's dead lucky. Nice place. Glad you like it. So how's your day today? Pretty good, really. Uh, and you? Yes, fine. Did, Did I, I ever, ever tell, tell you when it... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, come on, you first. No, sorry, you. <laughs> You've got a lovely smile, you know. It lights up the whole room. Oh, thank you. You're not so bad yourself. Is that so? Definitely. You should dress like that more often. I don't think my parishioners would like it. Oh, stuff your parishioners. <laughs> I can see you're going to lead me astray. I hope so. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Come on, then, do something. Come on. Do something! Come on then, do something! Come on! What do you think you're doing? I'm seeing if I can make him bite. Are you stupid or what? It's only a bit of fun. Fun? Are you serious? Why are you going so mad? Because it's cruel, that's why. You don't treat animals like this. I didn't know. Yeah, well, you should have. It's only a game. What's going on in here? Nothing. Oh, dear. Where's your mum going to turn up? I've already told you, I don't know. Well, it better be soon because you're not staying here any longer. What do you mean? I mean, I'm sick of the sight of you. Now get in the house. Go on. You must be mad. I'd boot him out on the street if it were me. So, are you much of a cook then, Hillary? Yes and no. I'm more of a takeaway man myself. I bet you are. <laughs> You know, you do have an excellent sense of humour. <laughs> and why is that? Actually, Hillary does a magnificent spag ball. Hillary? I actually do a pretty mating coq au vin, if your memory serves you well. <clears throat> More port, anyone? Fill me up, Gloria. Ah. Me too. Ah, this is all very nice. Do you know, I might even put on my Matt Monroe. Do you have to? Do you like Matt Monroe? I've never heard of him. Oh, well, you're in for a treat. I've got a double album. I'll see if I can dig it out. This is ridiculous. Quite. So she left me for an accountant. <laughs> oh, no, you're joking. That's tragic. I know, called Russell. <laughs> Don't tell me. He wore an anorak. Green with a hood. And wait for it, guess what his hobby was? Go on. <laughs> Stamp collecting. Oh, I... <laughs> Actually, looking back, perhaps Alison wasn't that great at last. Oh, I'm really enjoying this, Ashley. Me too. We should do it more often. Oh. Yeah, I'd like that. Good. I can really talk to you. I'm glad to hear it. No, I mean it. You're a mate. You're more than a mate. You're kind and caring. A good listener. Most men aren't. Ray wasn't. I see. In fact, Ray was the exact opposite. A girl feels very comfortable with you, Ashley. I'll take that as a compliment. Oh, you should. You're a really good friend. Well, um, if you'll excuse me, I might just go and powder my nose. Of course. Elaine, you can't just leave without telling them. They're not here, are they? So what am I supposed to say when they get back? Tell him I'll give him a ring. It looks like you're going to have to tell him yourself, doesn't it? Uh, what are you doing? What does it look like? I'm moving out. <laughs> Where 
here too. Paul and Siobhan's. Oh, no, you're not. I'm over 16. I can do what I want. Not in this house, you can't. Exactly. Why do you think I'm moving out? Uh, let's just uh, sit down and talk about this. We've been talking about it all day. I'm sick of it. Uh, Elaine, there's no need for this. Oh, yes, there is. But you can't move in with Paul and Siobhan. She's pregnant. Doesn't bother her. She said I can move in. You're going nowhere, young lady, and I mean it. Don't you think you've caused your mother and me enough heartache, as it is? Why is it always about you? What about me, eh? God, I hate it here. Get upstairs and get that bag unpacked now. No. I'll make you. And leave it, Ronnie. I'm sorry. I really am. But this is something I've got to do. Thanks a lot, Lane. I'll go after her. No! <sighs> Hi. I paid the bill. Sorry? I've paid for the meal. Oh, thank you. Um, are we going? If you don't mind. But it's only early. <laughs> for you, maybe. I have Gabby in the morning. I'll get your coat. So sad am I After searching so long Knew I loved you I told you Walk away. Walk away. Walk away. Hmm. Beautiful son. Walk away. Beautiful. Beautiful. Used to be a bus driver, dead now. Damn shame. Yes. Well, party over. We've a lot on tomorrow, but thank you so much for coming, Hilary. Ah, oh, don't be a killjoy. I'm being sensible, Eric. It's late. After all, Hilary is staying at the B&B. I'm sure Alan doesn't like his guests rolling in too late. Well, in that case, why doesn't Hilary stay over? Oh, come on, Gloria. <laughs> Hilary's enjoying himself, aren't you? Oh, come on. Just one more drink, eh? Come on, please. Hmm. My wife absolutely ravishing. Yeah, I can't tell you how much I've missed her, Hilary. Pine for her, even. When well, she's back now. Back in my arms. I'm never gonna let go. When we take up the first Viking You're early. We found 35,000 layers of fur. Um, what happened? Just didn't feel right. None of it. Knew I shouldn't have gone. So, uh, what, what went wrong? Well, don't ask me. He just suddenly decided to go home. Perhaps it was something you said. Perhaps it was just him. I mean, after all, he's a man. Right, I'm going to the back room to get plastered. Do you want to come with me, Laurel? I don't like drinking alone. Um, yeah, yeah. Sure. Looks like you blew it. Yep. Yeah. Stupid boy. Hillary, stop it. But when? Right. Here's everything you need. If there's anything else, just give us a shout. However, if it's lotions or potions, you can speak to Gloria. Gloria's your woman. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. I'm beach. Why don't you go on up? I'll clear up down here. Gloria, come to bed. Please, in fact, I insist. Oh, well, if you insist. I do. <laughs> Good night, Hilary. Sleep well. Won't be long. We'll speak in the morning. Gloria. Uh, 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 tomorrow. The bottom line is, she sees me as a friend. And I don't want to be seen as just a friend. That's how Benice and I started. I am not going down that road again. Oh, stop feeling sorry for yourself. I am not. I'm merely pointing out that I like her. What man wouldn't? I'm just not sure she feels the same way. And I refuse to be a crutch again for anybody. Excuse the pun. Well, it sounds to me like you're beaten before you even start. 
Look, I don't want to sit there and listen to someone else's problems. Why should I? I do that for a living. On my night off, I want fun. What, and tonight want fun? No, no, it was. It's... Oh, I don't know. Look, Ashley, Louise likes you. I know it. Call it woman's intuition. Do you want me to be really honest? I think you're the problem, not her. You do? Absolutely. Look, come on, it's got to be worth another go, hasn't it? Maybe. What is it with me and men, eh? Oh, I always seem to get it wrong. I mean, why cut the date short? What? Didn't think it was a date. Well, whatever it was. I like him, Laurel. Do you? Yeah, of course I do. Am I boring? Oh, don't be silly. Because we were having a really good time and then all of a sudden it was time to go home. I mean, work that one out. Perhaps he was nervous. Nervous? Laurel, he's a vicar. He gives sermons every Sunday to lots of people. Of course he wasn't nervous. I just blew it. Yeah, but Ashley's very complex. So you think he needs to laugh a bit more? Maybe not take himself too seriously. Mind you, it's part of his charm. So you think I should not let tonight affect me? I should just go for it? If that's what you want. Yeah, I think it is. Thanks, Laurel. You're a good friend. Cheers. <laughs>